peace, love, and light, Cancerians. I hope the sun is shining wherever you are and you're living in your greatest purpose. Let's get into your messages. Uh, Cancerians, just before starting, I um, saw like um, a message about love, pleasure, the planet Venus. Let's see what's happening here. Queen of Wands, mm, the moon. Immediately I'm seeing many of you are really getting in tune with your feminine power. Like this energy of creation that shows up in the divine feminine. Like many of you are becoming in tune with your divine feminine. And, <clears throat> and you know, Cancerians, you know how you and Scorpio's messages always kind of like align. Like literally this, almost this very thing uh, showed up for, let me help fix this. Like almost this very same energy showed up for Scorpio's not too long ago. Like this energy of uh, the divine feminine and especially for Scorpio, I believe it was like the moon card and the emperor, which is both fire and water. And it's showing up in the same way for you. So the moon card, uh, which is your divine feminine powers, emphasizing something about the energy of creation, uh, the energy of tuning into the unseen, tapping into what is unseen, um, and also unseen, and it's also helping you to elevate. And then this Queen of Wands is helping you to tune in and tap into your resources uh, by way of, it may possibly be financial aspects, some financial, um, there's something about finances that's being emphasize i'm definitely seeing with the moon card and the queen of wands showing up as the very first thing um i see this being an energy of you tuning into your feminine your feminine energy your feminine power your creative power your ability to create like your that that magical self that's able to like you know wave their hand and and create something um that you're able to create something that <laughs> that others may not have seen or they weren't seeing this is the power of like your divine feminine energy i'm seeing like this divine feminine power is also creating it's also revealing some things. The Hierophant. Balance. Because I'm seeing here like there's fire and water. Like the divine feminine energy is tuned into a lot of things that are not seen on the surface. That's what I'm hearing. So there are a lot of things that are revealed on the surface, 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 okay. Surface that are going to be revealed to you because of you tuning into your divine feminine power, your energy. I'm seeing here, this represents revelations. And it's interesting because the moon is all things unseen. The tower is revealing the things unseen to you is what I'm getting. And the star represents like, like the light being on. Some light is tr either coming on or tuning on or staying on. There's a lot of light energy showing up.
Hmm. Okay, let's see what else we can see about this moon card. This is manifestation. See what else we can get from this moon card. Okay, so we got the moon card showing up. Seven of Pentacles, which is investments, investing. Um, like from here, I'm really more so getting like you being this, like having these magical like abilities to make things grow, to for things to come, for you to reveal what is unseen. It's like with your magical hands, with some kind of like power that you have to manifest you're going to bring things that are in the unseen um to the surface and you'll be able to literally like watch as it comes to the surface you'll be able to watch it watch it continually grow into something into good news mm. i'm seeing avenue uh, i'm seeing the word avenue i'm also seeing the word revenue so you're going to be presented with the avenue for your revenue for many of you. All right, let's see what else we can get. Tell me more. Yeah, manifestations. Uh, tell me more about this moon card. The avenue for your revenue. what i'm getting for many of you avenue for your revenue yeah like this is you being in a position of leadership see fire and water represented here like on the one hand you're tuning into this divine feminine power and on the on the other hand it's this like divine feminine energy and power that's going to help you tune in to like this boss energy that's showing up for you like this is this is someone who's able to use their energy to create um and th this person that's showing up someone is in this energy of like being their own boss because they are tuned into their divine feminine power energy and that's causing like this increase like it seems like to be this repetitive cycle that keeps on showing up for you the same thing keeps showing up for you um this power that you have tuning into this divine feminine energy i'm also seeing is <laughs> it's like this yin and yang energy that also showed up previously for scorpio earlier um this balance that's showing up tuning into your divine feminine energy is also working in balance with this energy this divine masculine energy to grow things to create things like both the divine feminine and masculine energy showing up here are about creation it's about creating the wish fulfillment see there's the empress showing up and the interesting thing is that like for Scorpio this uh, earlier this week, it was the emperor that showed up with the moon card. So there's something about that. Seven of Pentacles. Tell me about the seven of Pentacles. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. So. Uh, <laughs> All right, we'll leave it the way it is. Mm, seven of pentacles some investment some of you may have some concerns regarding some investment oh you may have some concerns about releasing a connection that you have with someone to invest in something it may be another water sign. It may be an air sign showing up. I'm seeing that some of you may be releasing like some connection that you have. Um, there's some things that you may have found out about someone. 
in a connection see letting go this is letting go you're letting go of something hmm you're letting go like on the one hand I'm getting this energy of some of you letting go of someone that's hindering something hindering your growth hindering your creativity and on the other hand I'm also getting that you're letting go for some of you you're letting go of a thought some kind of pattern of thinking that's blocking your progress letting go of old patterns that are blocking your progress like this this two of swords is like the energy of being stuck at a place where you don't want to be stuck in not seeing what you need to be seeing and this feminine power showing up initially the moon card is a very powerful energy because it's like it's making way it's almost like this energy is giving you some sort of like a a precursor like it's it's like it's telling you there's something that you have that's going to serve the purpose of removing some blockage that may come up for many of you this is something that may come up and this blockage that you have that may come up may have to do with finances for some of you. Like you may experience blockage in your uh, finances. Um, that's going to kind of like feel like you've, you've got your feet stuck in the mud, so to speak. And you're trying to move it and you're not sure how. And it's that very same thing. It's like that very same thing that may be perceived as you know um a negative event that that very thing is going to be an opportunity for you to show uh your power it's going to present an opportunity for you to show who you are all right um so it's like this this thing happening it's showing up as like a blessing in disguise like this um what seems to be uh, a blockage is showing up as a blessing in disguise like it's about your perspective it's about seeing and having the right perspective and it's like the divine is already telling you you've got what it takes for you to be able to see this through for you to be able to like you know remove the blindfolds you know as it relates to this thing that's happening something is going to happen that that's going to test you it almost seems like this thing that's going to happen is going to test you it's going to test your um it may be your gift of sight and as it relates to the planet venus that showed up earlier i'm seeing that there may be something that the universe is doing to kind of like test to see if you've healed all right something is going to happen that's going to test to see if you've healed it's like when this thing comes are you going to attribute it to are you going to say that oh okay you're stuck you know this is too heavy i've got my foot stuck in the mud and there's no way to go i'm gonna are you gonna say oh, okay there's like uh, you know there's a blockage and you know there's no way out or are you going to see it as an opportunity for you to display your leadership potential your growth are you going to be able to change your perspective like you can you can see it as you know the glass being half full or half empty some uh, there's an opportunity that's going to be presented you're going to be tested and whether you see the glass as being half full or half empty that's then going to determine what comes next so whatever's showing up is going to test you and it's going to determine what comes next holding on to your power or are you going to kind of like just be sleep and just not really focus on the lesson that is being that's showing up for you here are you going to be able to see it are you going to use your third eye chakra 
And most importantly, are you going to show the universe that you've actually healed? You've, you've learned your lesson. You've built a sense of resilience regarding this. Are you going to keep yourself stuck in the crossroads? So all of this is going to determine is going to be determined by the investments that you've made in yourself. Okay, the universe will see this. Uh, let's see what's going on with this uh, Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands I'm seeing is like that's the positive outcome. That's you being in tune with that magnetic side of you, that side, that creative side. All right, yeah. So that that Queen of Wands represents the balance. And it also represents this healed heart chakra that's going to give you the giving hand to be able to receive this good news that's coming. Because many of you will not be able to receive the good news that's coming towards you, you know, because of your sense of perspective. Because of, it's like, again, that blocked heart chakra that blocked third eye chakra like many of you will not be able to see the blessing in disguise this is what i'm hearing this something coming up that's going to be a test and it's going to show up as a blessing in disguise like depending on how you respond to this if you show the universe that you've you've healed you have a healed heart chakra this is then where the university is going to give you that giving hand that giving hand you see that? That giving hand that's presented here is that same giving hand that's presented here. Alright? For many of you, this may have to deal with a family situation. For many of you, this may have to do deal with like a some aspect of like feminine energy, something having to do with uh, feminine energy. For some of you, this may have to deal with like a healing from a relationship or something having to do with a relationship. Um, and seeing what you were meant to see, learning what you're meant to learn. It's almost like you being gra you're graduated or you're showing that you've graduated. Uh, you've learned what you needed to learn. This is the test. Anything else? This Two of Cups seems to be coming out. So for many of you, this lesson has to deal with the Two of Cups. It has to do with uh, balance. All right. This Two of Cups has a lot of energy coming out of it. it has to deal with like love, self-love. It has to deal with a relationship of some sort, a connection, a partnership, uh, coming together in love. This is like the last card. Like, so it's, it's significant in many different ways. Okay, very, very significant in many different ways. Okay, Cancerians. So whatever's showing up, it's going to test you. It's going to like be that thing that says, okay, it's going to determine what happens next. So confirming messages for Cancerians. What do you want Cancerians to get? from this message. Ancestors. Hmm. I'm seeing that this was meant to be that one. Ten. Guardian. Okay, so... This one, for whatever reason, had a powerful energy coming forth. Oh, look at that. Look at what it says. Make peace and let go of past issues around being abandoned or not understood. Feeling unsupported as those experiences no longer color your worldview. Trust that you belong here and that your connection to the earth goddess will support you in all ways. You're sensitive and rightly so. Never judge your sensitivity or feel that you're overreacting. This... Also, allow nature to calm and soothe you so that you can focus on accomplishing your soul mission. If you feel that you are on your own when you would like some help, allow the Divine Mother to be your friend, guide, while trusting that more allies will arrive at the right moment. Hmm. 
The Earth Mother has her own sense of timing and you are not forgotten. You're just growing according to her wisdom and grace. Have faith in yourself and in her. There is a test coming to see if you've let go of some stuff. All right, see if you've learned your lesson. And whatever you do, your decision will determine what comes next. That's what's showing up for you, Cancerians. Much love and light. If this message resonates, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time.